YouTube, what's good? It's your boy Ari. Welcome back to AM Island Vibe. Hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing right. Back with another reaction. It's another Wednesday night, and we're gonna be reacting to Yo Yo 808. I got fired and escorted off my job. What the hell did you do to get, to get escorted? It's one thing to get fired, but to get escorted? Whew. That's some shit. But yeah, though. Know, hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. You guys new to the channel, smash that like button, subscribe. On road to 100,000 subscribers. I know it sounds pretty far, but I don't give a damn. I still won't go get it. I still won't get it. Alright, but oh! The channel will be doing We've been doing something amazing, y'all. 90% of my comments is now hate. I love it. I just love it because I know. Because let me see something. You niggas can talk. It's talk shit. I love when you talk shit. When you talk shit, it makes me work more. Oh, boy, that being said, man. Let's get to the. You know, yo, yo, I. Oh, shit. I'm gonna you know, it. yo, yo, I've had it up to here with your nonsense. Well, that's still pretty low. You're. Oh, shit. So it's time to tell the story. Firing story. Three videos What's of Lemon Tunes. How did I get fired? Her from excellency? A job that didn't care that I almost got shot in the parking lot, attacked a customer, and lost $17,000. What did I do that was so bad that it warranted permanent termination? Well, let me tell you, this was around the time I had like 4,000 subscribers, and as you do when you ignore the advice of everyone in your life, you kick out of your home and have to enter into your friend's brother's room to pursue telling stories on the internet, I fell down, I was doubting my self-worth. And to fix this, what a therapist would suggest, or what I'm sure any sane person would do, is look themselves in the mirror and say nice things. What I do is the exact opposite. Uh, I look in the mirror and absolutely tear myself down, bro. Yo, yo. You are a grown man sleeping in a closet. No college. Hey, no. I'm gonna fuck, bro. People might say don't do that. I believe you should do that, Monica. I feel like you should be your toughest critic, bro. Like, I look in the mirror, and like, don't hate yourself, but be honest with yourself. That's what I believe in. What's the point of people in the world is gonna tell you bullshit and lies and pixie dust and fairy tale? At least keep it 100 with yourself, my boy. So, I'm too mad about that. This degree, you're working 40 hours a week for minimum wage in a futile attempt to grow a subpar YouTube channel. What are you doing with your life? 10 years from now, you're going to be in the same exact position. You waste of sperm. The logic is to make all of my problems apparent so I can okay, get I myself that now. being productive. And you know what? It worked, right? Like, like, like I'm here, right? So See, bro, what I told you, you gotta be your toughest. This is not a good approach with anything. I'm stupid. Yo, yo, I'm stupid with you. Trust me, bro. It, it, I'm stupid with you, and like, I don't encourage. Oh shit! I focus. I don't try to encourage people to do it because some of y'all is going a little too far when when you being honest with yourself. I just I'm gonna just leave it there. But you should be your toughest critic. Do the things that I do. So I that's why none of y'all tell me how they feel. My self esteem to the point where I'm still repairing it to this day. I started to really lock into my channel more than ever before. I go to work, animate on my lunch break, come home, animate, sleep for like three hours, wake up, take enough caffeine to make me worry about my remaining lifespan, go back to work, and then repeat. And because of this, I'd not only leave work exhausted, but I'd also go to work exhausted. exhausted. Now, I'm sure it makes sense as to why I made all those dumb mistakes in those other videos. Dude, I'm half awake. So one day I showed up uh -huh. to our closing shift. And as I said earlier, I'd animate on my lunch breaks instead of eating. So I got a little hungry, and something other cashiers would regularly do if they're hungry and the store is dead is they grab food, scan it, and pay for it, basically selling it to themselves. Which is against the rules, but you know, even managers did it, so water under the Why? Why don't you pay for it? Oh. Take it out of your salary. But I okay. didn't because I'm a good employee. Sure, I lost seventeen thousand dollars. Sure, I assaulted oh, yeah, yeah, a woman yeah, yeah. with a gallon of laundry detergent. But if my manager specifically tells me not to do something, I don't do it. Ah, nigga, feed me. So I grab a Hershey's bar, open it, so I can eat it as I work. But right before I can scan and pay. This guy with like three carts of beer pulls up to my register mad fast. I ask him what all this is for, and he says that he started a beer company, and this is gonna be his 
for it to stop. But it's a it's a terrible idea because he's not buying it wholesale. But that, that, that's well, I was just about to say that. I'm mad sleep deprived right now. So I start scanning this guy's mountain of beer. But as I'm scanning, my manager interrupts me and tells me that he wants to finish the order so we can make sure everything goes smoothly. So he sends me to go on a break. I grab my things and head to the break. My break ends, my manager finishes the $7,000 order. Two hours later, my shift ends and I go home. Fast forward a couple months and I'm at a register, you know, I'm just doing my thing. If this nigga get fired for his fuck, Hershey's chocolate bar. That's all shit burned on. And I hear the intercom of the whole store turn on. Uh, yo, yo. If this man get fired right now. for a chocolate bar. I'll say it again. They never use the intercom to call people in unless it's very important. The last time they used I would hate to think. I no. walked into a room no full of cops. So after hearing this, no. my forehead starts to precipitate, bro. I'm just getting flashbacks of the last time this happened. But now I'm confused because what did I do? I honestly can't yeah. remember doing anything that warrants me being called over the intercom. So I walked to the office. Nah, and bro. Confused, so I opened the door. Nah, bro. And it's the same scene as last time. Several managers and one computer screen. Glad you're here to join us, yo yo. We were reviewing the security tapes and found some very alarming footage of them. Have a seat. I sit down and they explain that they were reviewing the transaction of the guy with the beer, which is normal, you know, they usually review large transactions, but I, I didn't even do most of the scanning. My manager did, so I don't see why I need to be involved. They show me the footage and then I see it. I grab a Hershey's bar, the guy comes, my manager replaces me, and I leave. I grab my phone, my water, and the Hershey's bar. And I dip without paying. The footage did not look good, yo. It even picked me up looking around before I grabbed the bar. Smooth. Looked like I stole it. But in actuality, I, I just forgot to pay. There was just a lot going on. I was very sleep deprived. I was sent away mid-transaction. I just looked at the open Hershey's bar on my register and I just assumed I paid for it. I would not steal. Like, why would I risk my entire job as a broke boy for 75 cents, bro? I don't got paper, but I at least got shreds. I sighed, look at my visibly angry managers. Yo, yo, you know, we've done this too many times. Give me one reason why I shouldn't send you out of this building right now. That wasn't rhetorical. Give me an answer. Oh, he sure did. <laughs> I almost lied. Like, I would rather blatantly lie about what was on the screen rather than explain my genuine mistake to these angry old people. But I explained the situation. Oh, okay, so you didn't steal the Hershey's bar. Yes, I promise, okay, why would I steal that? It was an accident, I'm sorry. Thank you for understanding, this job is- You are just breaking the rules and paying for it yourself! Explain yourself! Water under the bridge. You know, Yo-Yo, I've had it up to here with your nonsense. Well, that's still pretty low. You're terminated and I need you to leave the premises now. And just like that, I was showing up by like two managers. Didn't even let me clock out or anything. Honestly, what's crazy to me is that it wasn't almost getting shot, attacking a customer and losing $17,000 that fired me. 70. 75 cents. Or maybe all of them combined. You better change. Yo, 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 don't feel bad, yo, yo. He's still. I bet you to this day, he's still the manager of that same little grocery store, and he's still sucking the big bosses' glizzy. Seventy-five cents, bro. Bro, I look at seventy, bro. Like even if I have a store, right, and somebody takes off um, a chip. Or a juice or a candy bar and it's value penny cents. You telling me you're gonna fire you're gonna stop put but that's a he's a that's a bitch bro. He's a bitch nigga bro. You gonna stop putting food in another man you gonna, you gonna stop a nigga from getting people, getting money, getting his kids coins. See, you don't know if Yo Yo had a family, you don't know if this man had a fam family or not. Well, he probably didn't know, but nevertheless, he still have he still have bills to take care of. You gonna stop master this nigga house money, bro? For seventy five cents, and my boy, even if you tell yo yo, hey yo yo man, uh, 
We saw you take the candy bar. We got to take it out your pay. Oh, no problem. Oh, come on. I ain't paid for it. So, might as well take it on my salary. My, my, my paycheck come at the end of the week. And then I pay for it, right? Bro, I would bro, I don't care how I don't care what position. I could be the freaking CEO of Apple. I would never fire somebody for 75 cents, bro. You can literally walk outside. Buying the light though. Y'all realize how hard it is to find. Boy, teens tight. Buy time. But you, you remember a long time ago you could walk outside and find loose money? I used to find dollar. But I can't remember the last time. Hey, y'all need to stop all your money so tight. So niggas like you be confined. But I can't remember the last time I found one dollar. Damn. You know, I can't remember the last time I found one quarter. You know, all I found is 10 cents and 5 cents and pennies. Y'all niggas just hold your money too tight. Be more um, loose with your money now. But anyway. I can literally walk outside and find this shit, bro. And you go fire a man for it. But he's a bitch, bro. There's no way around it, bro. He's a short. Ah, now I see what the problem is. He's short. You know them niggas, them short niggas. You know, I five eight, but I mean that's average height. You know them little short little, mi little person. <laughs> thought you had me, eh? You thought you had me, little person. You know, they got, they, they, they got to boost the ego, you know what I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean, but anyhow, you got to feel like he's somebody special, but he ain't nobody. Fire a man for 75, nigga, suck my dick, nigga. I wouldn't even let him fire me, bro. As soon as I see he bring me in office at 75, nigga, I yo, I yo, because if you tripping for 75 cents, nigga, I don't want to work here. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. If you guys are new to the channel, man, smash that like button, subscribe, the original link will be down below. Trade boys some love. With that being said, we have an awesome day. Be happy, be blessed. Remember, the world is yours. Peace. I'm out.